Samsung's most popular foldable, the Flip 3, really did put folding screen phones for Samsung on a map. After now being announced officially at Unpacked on the 10th of August, we finally do have our Z Flip 4 in-house for testing and review. Hi, Ben from Sam Mobile. If you enjoy new and exclusive videos like this, then be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos on YouTube with Sam Mobile TV. Here is our early unboxing and early impressions of the Z Flip 4. So yes, this is the Flip 4. We've got it right here in a slimmer box, which is tradition now, meaning there's no charger in the box. But the improvements here are really solid and I think just might allow it to strike again with lightning striking twice with just what it's been able to do. All right, we're gonna unbox this. Keep it here. And standard stuff, USB-C to C, manual. Nothing more, nothing less. We'll keep this to the side for now. And this is the Flip 4. Really, really nice. It's the purple color. Nothing else that goes in here. Unboxings are much more straightforward and simple as it is nowadays. Okay, let's pull out the front. Put this to the side and then give it the spotlight treatment. That is a really, really nice finish. Although it does have a glossy roll, a more flatter edge, rounder design, this finish at the back panel and the front panel. Yeah, this is really nice. And again, the bespoke edition is available from the get-go. If it's available within your region, it is Samsung order only. Five different colors for the front and back, as well as three different colors for the hinge as well. So yeah, this is the Flip 4. As we can see here, flatter, power button, volume rocker, wide and ultra wide, flash, and the 22 by nine, in a display with the UTG glass, full high definition, dynamic AMOLED, 120 hertz adaptive display. Again, we've got the USB-C, microphones, speaker, and we've got the speaker grill here. Okay. I'm gonna keep my biases towards the fold away while obviously reviewing this and, you know, experiencing this again. I thoroughly did use the Flip 3, and this is the Flip 4. And it does have a nice weight to it that I didn't initially pay attention to as much. I had very brief hands-on with this one. My hands-on with this was minimal compared to the Fold 4. This was probably maybe 15, 20 minutes at best, maybe 15 minutes. But yeah, as you can see right there, front and center, we're gonna go into the home screen and then do a brief catch up on what the Flip 4 is all about. So we are now on the home screen and just a quick rundown reminder of what the Flip 4 is all about. It is being powered by the latest Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1. This particular model that I have here does have eight gigabytes of RAM and it's the base at 128 gigabytes, which in the UK is gonna be priced at 999 pounds. So that does see a 50 pound price increase, but in the US it's still 999, which I think it does really well to maintain that. In terms of the camera, both are still 12 megapixels on the outer display, but the main camera sensor now gets a slightly bigger sensor size and an increase in the pixels, which goes up from 1.4 to 1.8 microns. And they've done some changes to video um, stabilization and also improvements to low light, which we're gonna really test out. The inner display itself, is still 6.7 inches, but it does have slightly slimmer bezels. It is still full high definition plus, and it does have the adaptive dynamic AMOLED tech, which does range between one hertz, 120 hertz. It's bright and it does look good. One thing I would say I've noticed is that the crease doesn't feel any more annoying than it did to me when I first used the Flip 3. I really struggled with the Flip 3. I don't know if this is gonna break into be the same, but so far, this feels a bit more manageable. There wasn't any news on whether they actually worked on it, as you can see, but yeah, this feels good. You've got a 10 megapixel selfie at the front as well. And um, the biggest thing that we will see here is not just the camera improvements, but also battery. One of the things that we have right now is that we've moved up 
to a free from a 3300 milliamp hour battery to a 3700 milliamp hour battery and another thing that's improved is 15 watts up to 25 watt wire charging so sold separately but it's on par with super fast charging 25 watts which i'm definitely going to test brings it on par to the galaxy s22 base model and it is a much needed improvement and hopefully with the efficiency of this four nanometer tsmc process with the 8 gen 1 on snapdragon with qualcomm this should be good for the flip 4 to really see a level of usability that's not experienced software we do have one ui 4.1.1 android 12 not l because of the size of this phone and the main things that you're really getting on here is the improvements to the cover display with quick notifications and also notification and also the reframing and resizing of your camera aspect ratio, which is good to see. Again, one thing I'm really noticing with this is the weight. There is a there is a certain weight increase to it that doesn't hurt the usability of the phone, but adds a level of premium feeling to it that I'm really liking so far. So yeah, this is the Flip 4. More on our first impressions, testing the battery performance, as well as charging, the camera performance, the display, the overall general experience and how it holds up before we give you our full extended review. And we'll be doing comparisons against the S22 Plus, as well as obviously the Fold to see which one is the right one to get. But yeah, this is the Galaxy Z Flip 4. And for more of the latest news in the world of Samsung, be sure to visit us at sammobile.com. And for the latest videos on YouTube with Sam Mobile TV, be sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications, and we will see you next time.